So what is the git add command and what does it mean to add a file to a git repository? And to answer that question, I'm going to pull up uh, the git documentation in my browser and I'm already at the target page and just for reference, I'm at uh, git-scm.com. So in git, there is a concept of a two-stage commit. And what that means is that uh, in order to commit changes to uh, git repositories history, which means make a commit object, a commit object is what tracks uh, a particular set of changes to a git repository. We have to use this two-stage commit and it, uh, this two-stage commit process. And it begins with adding changes from what's called the working directory into the staging area. And if you're wondering, well, how do I know whether or not my changes are in the working directory or if they're in the staging area, uh, it's pretty easy to check where your change is at using the git status command. If I take a look back at my terminal from the git uh, status output, we can tell whether or not a change is in the working directory or if it's in the staging area. If it's in the working directory, uh, those changes will show up in red as they do here. So this change is currently in the working directory and we wanna move it to the staging area. And what the staging area allows you to do is commit changes that are logically related to each other. So in the working directory, you can make uh, changes to whatever files and uh, you can make unrelated changes within files uh, but you don't have to commit all of those changes at once. What you can do is you can stage those changes, the changes that are logically related to each other before actually creating a commit object. And creating well-formed commits is actually very important to do. So in order to move changes from the working directory to the staging area, we have to use the git add command followed by uh, the, the argument of the git add command are the name of the files or the directories that we want to add to the staging area. And then from the staging area, in order to, to create a commit object, we would use the git commit command. So let's go back to our terminal and add our uh, hello.txt file to the staging area. So to do that, I'm gonna say git add hello.txt, okay? And it doesn't provide any output from that command. Uh, but it did execute successfully and we can confirm that by running the git status command again. So now our hello.txt file is in the staging area. And how do we know it's in the staging area? Well, any changes that are currently staged will show up in green. And you can see here that uh, git recognizes that it's a new file that has just been added to uh, the repository. And in order to uh, commit this file to git's history, we would use the git commit command. And we can also unstage this file as well and move it back to the working directory. And uh, git tells us how to do that. We can use git rm dash dash cache and then the file name to unstage this file. But we won't unstage uh, this file. We are going to follow through with the uh, two-stage commit process. And to do so, we will uh, invoke git commit. Okay, and if we invoke git commit by itself, uh, what it will do is it will bring up the default uh, git editor and prompt us for a uh, commit message. And a uh, git commit message is essentially a description, a very concise description of the change that we're making. So it's metadata on uh, the changes that we're making to the git repository so that later on, if someone wants to uh, review the changes made to the repository, they have concise summaries of all of the changes that have been, uh, that have been made uh, within a single commit. So we can use git commit without any arguments or options. Uh, and if so, it'll invoke your default editor. And in my case, uh, it should pull up Vim and it does, and it prompts me to enter a commit message. But the other option without uh, using, without pulling up uh, the default editor, so if I exit Vim and do git commit, I can use the dash M option. And this way I can actually pass my commit message in, in line uh, with the invocation of the git commit command. So if I wrap it in quotes, I can then pass in my commit message uh, directly at the command line. 
And this is the option that I'm going to use. And in my commit message, I'm simply going to say uh, adding hello.txt, okay? And end quotes, and then I hit enter. And in my case, it does give me a confirmation message that a commit object was created. Uh, but if this is the first time that you're using uh, this git installation on your machine, then when you invoke the git commit uh, command, it will probably ask you to uh, enter a username uh, and email address uh, for your git configuration so that when it creates the com uh, commit object, the metadata related to who committed uh, those changes and who is the author of those changes will show up with your information.